Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your daily dose of zombies news from the game and community here on COD Zombies HQ. We've got an awesome show for you guys today, just ahead of what I think is going to be a very busy news day tomorrow. But before we kick off this video, I'd appreciate the heck out of you if you can smash that thumbs up button down below. If you do enjoy this video, and hey, consider subscribing to the channel for more great zombies content to come. But kicking things right off with our first story of the day... Apparently, Treyarch have been making some weird changes to Shadows of Evil in Black Ops 3. Yesterday, a post went up on the COD Zombies subreddit by a Reddit user named Anonymously Used, entitled, Treyarch changed the Max Ammo logo on Shadows of Evil sometime this past month. And to prove it, he shows some images recorded earlier this year of Shadows of Evil, and specifically the Max Ammo logo within the map. As you can see before, it is all like it should have been, with the Cthulhu styled logo but after what we believe to be the latest patch on shadows of evil that logo is now changed to the standardized the giant logo it has been confirmed that this is a multi-platform change it's on all of the various platforms that black ops 3 is located on and as of right now we don't have an explanation of why this was changed in the first place some people are speculating that it might have just been a random mistake other people are saying well why are they changing things in shadows of evil anyways they should be just leaving that to die shouldn't they it is definitely very weird. I'm not sure why they would consciously take out this Cthulhu Max Ammo logo. It almost adds that kind of special flair to the map that makes it less generic in my own opinion. And I kind of miss it to be honest with you. I guess we'll have to wait for the next patch to see if this is something that was done unintentionally and they return the logo back to its original form. Or if this has some other purpose, but I, I, I don't think it would. Ribbon right on ahead to our second story of the day. Lee Ross just tweeted out, Animated cinematics are complete and look phenomenal as always. Can't wait to share. Hashtag DLC2. We know we've been expecting the DLC2 trailer for IW Zombies for at least the last week, so we didn't get last Tuesday. We're expecting that we should get it this Tuesday. If not, then it'll definitely be next Tuesday. But it's probable that he's talking about the silly cartoon intro intros in this tweet so those are now completed and are ready to be shown and moving on to our third story of the day guys junior rizzo uploaded a video to his channel entitled kiriasu castle black ops 3 custom map music video and it's basically a trailer for a new custom map that will be releasing soon by one of the premier mappers in the zombies community named zeroy the map looks freaking fantastic the trailer is expertly done as well if you're excited for a new high quality custom zombies map coming to black Caps 3 soon, definitely check out the full trailer listed down in the description. And moving on to our fourth story of the day, guys, more Call of Duty 2017 or COD World War II infos kind of been trickling out. I know that this picture of a possible new leaked poster image for World War II has been circulating around the community. This image is, of course, unable to be confirmed as legit. We also had some more hints pointing towards World War II in the form of a package received by Mr. Dalek JD from the company Control Freak, who we know to have actual business and licensing agreements with Call of Duty. And within this package, it kind of points to a World War II theme with a themed compass, old fashioned themed control freaks, as well as a Hershey's chocolate bar, obviously referencing the little candy bar that was part of the American ration packs during the Second World War. Now, these brandings just referenced a heritage Call of Duty theme without explicitly referencing COD World. World War II, but, but people are saying that this seems too specific to be just a coincidence, and they probably know that the next title is going to be a World War II theme, and this is just them marketing and getting ready for that reveal. Furthermore, guys, I just want to end today's episode on a little bit more of a serious note. I noticed on my last video talking about COD 2017, a lot of you guys were saying, leave zombies to Treyarch. Let's not get excited over Sledgehammer zombies, it should be just left to Treyarch. That seemed to be a popular opinion in the comments section and if I can speak to you guys with that opinion I want to give my own perspective on this issue maybe change your mind if you agree with me or not I'd love to know in the comments but I think you guys that are saying leave zombies to Treyarch 
have a bad taste in your mouth, right? Like, after Infinite Warfare Zombies, after you've seen with the drastic changes in tone and theme that they did within that game that was negatively received by myself and the rest of the community, you are very hesitant to put your trust in zombies in another developer. I understand that, but I would say to you, don't let that cloud your opinion or judgment over a possible Zombies mode in this new 2017 COD game before we've even seen footage for it. Zombies is going to be a yearly occurrence from now on, there is no point rebelling against that fact. But what we can do as fans of the series is critically analyze the modes that they do release and kind of show our displeasure of what we don't like and at the same time celebrate their successes. We're coming to a point where to be a Zombies fan isn't just to be a Treyarch fan, it's to celebrate the mode in general, through the good times and the bad. I know with the leak of COD World War 2, this is probably some of the most positive comments I've seen directed towards a new Call of Duty game in a very long time. Let's extend that to the Zombies community too. Let's put our trust in Sledgehammer. This is their second go around with a Zombies mode. Boots on the ground, a World War 2 theme. This is going to be very exciting if it comes to fruition, guys. Get excited, stay positive, and I'll see you with another Zombies news video tomorrow.